Hey guys, and welcome to part 2. Okay, so, um, in the last part, um, I made one mistake, and that was of the function game draw. You should delete this one, it shouldn't be there. And when you have done that and saved, uh, it should compile. Okay, so when you have made that, uh, made it compile, um, just go to integers and I've created three basic integers because now we're going to create our basic window so we're going to get this code to work okay so the first thing we're going to do is to make the screen set up the screen Okay, and then go to game input and make an event to check if the game is running or not. Like if I still find some event. running to be equal to false okay so got a code finished now we just want to go to the main.tpp and change this if statement here to while and we want to go into the game events and when we init a game we want to change the boolean game running to be set to true because then the game is running and we need to do one more thing here we don't want or we don't need anything inside of a game draw or game update because we don't need to get update anything we just want to uh, just set up a screen okay but when we close the game we we want to exit STL and we want to exit with zero I think okay so now we are finished oh, we got some error yeah you need one more here of course sorry okay so we got our basic window running so it's kind of nice because now the code looks much better than before if you go into the main.cvp you can see directly what your game is doing okay uh, we can just do some thing, small things here we can set the caption Um, um, we can write like simple window setup with class setup using class. Okay. Hit compile and debug it. Okay, anyway, didn't work. Um, maybe we should put it after. Okay, so now it worked. Um, I think you have to do it after you set up the screen. Uh, but okay, 
that's my tutorial uh, about how you can start off uh, writing code inside the closet. So uh, I hope to see you later, and yeah, bye.